South Africa's ruling ANC has elected Cyril Ramaphosa as its new leader, putting him on track to succeed Jacob Zuma as president. The 65-year-old union veteran narrowly defeated Zuma's ex-wife after winning just 52 percent of the vote. Ramaphosa has pledged to revive the nation's stagnating economy and clamp down on the state corruption that's plagued the current government, uh, which he uh, also was involved in, by the way. Bloomberg's Emma Mbata joins us now. Emma, what's the... Why the expectation, first off, that Ramaphosa will be able to reduce the state capture problem when he was literally part of the government, is part of the government that's responsible for that? Well, what we know is that the deputy president uh, of the state, uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, who's now the new party president, has really come out strongly criticizing, of course, that undue influence over state-owned enterprises as well as cabinet ministers. He's come out strongly, even in his campaign and even while he was in the government, that that is something that he will work to strongly tackle. And also what we know now is that the judiciary has made some decisions that will give him some level of power over the, the nation's public prosecuting office. He is due to possibly appoint the head prosecutor of the country. So it seems as though in this new position, he may have a lot more power at his disposal to possibly put in commissions, lobby for commissions to be put in, in order to deal with some of the corruption allegations that are marring the country and the government. Yeah, others wonder, though, Amo, whether he can live up to that kind of expectation and whether he can really uh, affect some of the policies he's talked about. How are markets taking this, though? Because, it, it, you know, compared to the alternatives, this was the, the market's pick, I guess, and the business pick. Yes, it seems as though he certainly was the market's pick. I mean, also it speaks to a, a smoother transition of power from the incumbent into the new president as he was the deputy. So this is a, a, actually a very significant event in the sense that for this year it marks one of South Africa's uh, politically stable uh, transitions of power within the ANC. The rand strengthened about 4% against the US dollar after the announcement was made on Monday evening. Government Europe on to sell 12 basis points as well, also showing that the markets really reacted well. However, we did see the rand powering gain, so it also shows that investors are not necessarily overly confident about the, how he will be able to really unravel some of the scandals that have marred government, as well as to see if he will um, lead to uh, President Jacob Zuma's early exit from state power. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. I mean, there were a lot of people saying NDZ or Ramaphosa, regardless of the winner, um, this spells a, an end, a quick end for Zuma, I guess, from now. He's not expected to serve out the rest of his term until 2019, is he? Well, it's quite unclear at this point in time. What is going to be very critical is that uh, the names that are going to really form the, the party's highest decision-making body, that is the National Executive Committee of the party, will be announced today. That will be 80 members, and it will depend on where the power lies within that actual body as to whether President Jacob Zuma can fulfill the rest of his term as the state president or not. We'll have to keep a very close watch on that as the names may be announced later on today or early Wednesday morning.